Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Padman. I am back with another video. We have the all-star event in Hockey Ultimate Team. I'm very excited for this. I have stacked up a bunch of gold players for this event. Drop a like. Let's go for 30 likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, man. Uh, straight off the bat, there is uh, just something. It says two attributes will boost to a 99 for each individual skills competition winner. So let's say McDavid wins fastest player. Um... In the all-star competition, skills competition, he's going to get a 2 plus uh, attribute boost to a 99 uh, for that. So he'll probably get like a speed to 99. 1 plus overall for every goal scored in the all-star game. So let's say Ovechkin scores 3 goals, he will get a 3 plus boost. 4 plus overall boost for 2 goalies on the final winning team. A all-star game MVP will boost to a 95. So let's say McKinnon wins the all-star MVP. His 89 card will automatically go to a 95. All players from the winning team will be awarded a additional synergy spot. So let's say that the uh, Atlantic Division wins. That basically means Matthews and everyone on that team will get an additional synergy. Uh, we also have some MSPs. We got six MSPs. Uh, we got Suter. We've got uh, Pekka Rene, Jokinen, Hedrick, Bier, and Boyle. I really want the Daniel Bier card, bro. He's always a beast. We're going to break down those cards right now. This event is low-key a, a W. Um, here are all of the rest of the all-star event cards, bro. This this is this is pretty cool, man. We got uh, Talbot, Soros, Makar, Pavelski, McKinnon, Cairo, Keller, Kaperzov, Kadri, Debrinkat, and Connor. Bro, there's some good cards here. So this is again, you know, one plus for every goal they score, four plus for two goalies on the winning team. Uh, so th I mean, th th there are some definitely good cards. Here is uh, th this was the Central Division, so that's the Central Division cards. Next up, we have the Pacific Division, which is Dry Saddle, Eberle, uh, uh, Goudreau, uh, Kempe, McDavid, Mir, Demko, Gibson, Petrangelo, Terry, and Stone. Again, very fire cards for the uh, Pacific Division, uh, the Metropolitan Division. Uh, Aho, Giro, uh, Claude Giroux. I almost mispronounced his name for some reason, which would have been a big L because he's one of my favorite players. But Jay Genzo, Jack Hughes, Kreider, Ovechkin, Jerry, Anderson, Wierenski, uh, Plick, and Fox. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I really, really want that Claude Drew card because that Claude Drew, if he gets it to like a 92, 3, 4 plus, he's gonna be an amazing card. And last but not least at the Atlanta Division, Kachuk, Bergeron, Huberto, Dylan Larkin. Listen to me. I want that. Guys, that Dylan Larkin card is going to be nuts, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. Matthew Stamkos, Vasilevsky, Campbell, Hedman, Deline, and Suz uh, Suzuki. That Larkin card, I want that card to get to a 90 plus, bro. I want that card to get an upgrade, bro. Because I'm telling you, that Dylan Larkin card is going to be very nasty, bro. I've been, I want a Dylan Larkin card for a while. Uh, here are the rest of the cards. I don't really care about the rest of the cards. Patrick Lang got a 90 overall, if you guys care. Uh, again, there's some, you know, some decent packs out. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and break down all these all-star cards. I really am interested to see how good these cards are. Like I said, these are some elite cards. Uh, 56 of them. We're going to be breaking down 56 of them. So, look, I'm not going to go in-depth on all of them. If you want to pause the video, go ahead. If I just if I take too long, it's just going to take forever. So, here is uh, Daniel. Uh, hold on. Let me just look at the 95s instead of looking at the 86s, right? Here is Boyle. Uh, Dan Boyle. He's got a decent synergies. Distributor and fly the zone. Gets him up to a 96 speed. He's 5'11". He is a right-handed player. He's got elite edges, heat seeker, seeing eye, intrusion, and tape to tape. Very, very good card. Acceleration isn't the best, 93, but his speed, 96, endurance, 99. Kind of make up for it. Really good shot. That's a decent card right there. Uh, Daniel Bear, 5'9". He is, a kinda, he is not, not tall, but... I mean, he's got 90, 98, 96, 95, 96 for his shooting stats. 97 speed, 96 endurance. He's got fly the zone, buzzing. So his speed stats get amped up. He's got 99 strength. Really decent card. Uh, he's got, again, tape to tape puck on string, elite edges, stripe, and wheels as his uh, abilities. We got uh, Hedrick. Again, I'm very sorry if I mispronounced his name, man. I, again, y'all going to roast me. It is what it is. Six foot. He is a right, uh, right-handed right uh, player. Shut down. Spark. Tape to tape, Lee edges make a snappy third eye. He's got 86 face offs. I would definitely say this card is. I, I prefer the other ones over him. Uh, Yoli Jokinen, who is a center. Guys, this might be the play, bro. This might be the play. I think I'm going to make this card. Uh, I, I just think he's 6'2. He is 99 face offs. He's 6'2. I'm going to make this card right now. After I'm done this video, I'm definitely going to make this card. Just because, again, he's got booming shot. Uh, he's got good synergies. Fly the zone, thief. 
get to him to thief he without thief he's i mean he's still got 99 face-offs he's crazy total eclipse close quarters tape to tape born leader and quick draw as his synergy points 93 96 96 93 94 his speed isn't even so bad 94 speed for a guy who's 6'2 who has a amazing shot with amazing hands plus 99 face-offs i am going to be making this card uh, i'm very excited to be making that card i don't care i think that's the best msp card off the bat pekka rene Again, I'm not. He's again. Pekarene is six five boys. He is a six five goaltender. This might be the play as well. Decent, decent superstar abilities. He does have distributor. Next up, we've got Gary Suter. Uh, Spark. He's a defenseman. Spark. He's six foot. Uh, distributor. Spark. Does he have another player synergy? Maybe he. Yeah, he's got fly the zone. Like, mm, he doesn't have the best player synergies, but again, he's the defenseman card. Here's Sebastian Aho. Again, I'm not gonna go full in depth breakdown on these uh other cards so if you want to pause the video at any time go ahead i'm just going to kind of speed run through it here's frederick anderson who's got thief and hardened souls post to post and light work uh patrice bergeron who comes with fly the zone wingman quick draw and shutdown uh jack campbell who's got those are the synergy points post to post and no timer spark kyle connor i have his i i have kyle connor's x factor card praying to god that he gets some upgrades for this event so i can sell that x factor card uh here's his synergy points here is his abilities rasmus Delene. we got alex Dubrinket, my boy uh i'm really pissed that patty king didn't get the all-star game but that's for another day stature demko and then we'll go on to the next page there's like what three pages of these cards it's crazy all of them are 89s which is cool here's leon Dreisaitl. uh here is jordan eberly adam fox Johnny Goudreau, guys, Johnny Goudreau is a really good card in this game, so there, there's definitely some cards that you might want to invest in, uh, you know, for, for these upgrades, I'm pretty sure these cards are only pulled in packs, the MSPs you'd make, Huberdo, Jack Hughes, Tristan Jerry, Nazem Kadri, uh, Kaprizov, Clayton Keller, Adrian Kemp, Chris Kreider, Jordan Cairo, He's really close to getting in 99. Dylan Larkin. Very excited to see this card. Oh, man. Uh, I, I need this card to get some upgrades. I want that Dylan Larkin. Uh, McKinnon. Kale McCarr. And then we're going to go on to the final page, I'm pretty sure. Yep, final page. He, Austin Matthews. The GOAT, Connor McJesus. Timo Meyer, Alex Ovechkin. The GOAT. Joe Pavelski. Love Pavelski, man. One of my favorite players. Adam Plesch. Alex Petrangelo. Sorrows, Steven Stamkos. Ooh, I love Stamkos cards in the game. There's some really good cards, boys. I think you, you know, you obviously it's, it's going to be hard to choose from these cards because you know you want all your cards to get an upgrade, right? There is some very good cards. Even Vasilevsky has a card. Zach Wierenski has got a card. There's a really good cards in this event. Those are just a quick overview of the rest of the cards. I'm going to be honest. This event is honestly a W. It is going to be a two-week event. I'm pretty sure because the All-Star game doesn't start until next week. I ain't gonna lie, man. I like this event a lot. So let's go check out the packs. And before I do wrap up this video, I need you to drop a like. So here is the pack MSP. If you open up this pack, you get a guaranteed MSP player off the bat. It costs 85,000 coins, 1,700 coins. Here's the starter pack, guaranteed power up collectible, and a guaranteed 83 overall plus item. All star MVP pack 30 items, 15 golds. The all star nominee pack, the hot multi league pack. I guess I can open up a multi league pack for you guys. Why not, right? I'll open up a multi-league pack for you guys. Why not? I'm going to see what I get in this multi-league pack. Hopefully, I do pull something good. And then we're going to go check out these sets. Oh, my God. <laughs> we just pulled a... <laughs> guys, I swear to God, this is not scripted, boys. I swear to God, this is not scripted. We just pulled a MSP off the bat, bro. I wish I had my face cam on for that. We just pulled a MSP off the bat. I'm swear to God, this is not scripted, boys. I'm going to skip the rest of the pack because I don't want to waste too much of you guys' time. And we pulled the 86 Tristan Jar. Okay, that is a good pack, bro. <laughs> I did not expect that, boys. I just got killed, McCarr. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, open up these multi-league packs, man. They are the wave, bro. But, uh, yeah, those are the packs that are out in the store. We'll go check out the sets. The sets are usually the same, boys. Um, Jan got realized that the sets are basically the same thing as previous weeks. I love EA so much for, for adding this event to the game, boys. Uh, I mean, <laughs> here's the collectible sets. So you can trade in uh, 15 for one collectible, 10 80, 80s for one collectible. I think this is 881s for one collectible, 80, 782s. Uh, eight, you trade in 383s for two collectibles, 284s for two collectibles. 
Uh, I think this is 285s for three collectibles, uh, 186 if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, 186 for three collectibles, which is a good deal. Um, five collectibles, I think this is an 87 plus. 87 plus, you trade, you get five collectibles. Uh, 88 plus, you get six collectibles. 89 plus, you get seven collectibles. So they're adding in the 89s now. So 89s are going to be worth a lot as well. So 89s, seven collectibles. That is ridiculous, boys. Uh, All star, if you get event collectibles. I guess this is for the the ones, uh, for example, if you, if the event expires, you can still make the collectibles. They're just a little bit more expensive. Those are the collectible sets. Again, Atlantic Division. So here's, here's the cool part about it. I thought this was packs. You can actually trade in event collectibles to get the 89 overall cards. So if you, for example, if you want to get McDavid, or not McDavid, I'm tweaking right now. If you want to get Ove uh, Matthews or something, you get Atlantic, Metropolitan. So you can choose which division you want. And you get to have a choice of one or three. You're trading in 25 event collectibles, though, which is a lot. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That's a lot of event collectibles. But I, I'm pretty sure, again, uh, it, it's good. You trade in five for an MSP. After you trade in the five for an MSP, you basically uh, come in here. You can either trade five for a choice pack of an MSP or you can actually make your own. So, for example, I want to make, you know, Yalkinen. I come in here. I trade in seven event collectibles. I get 86. Then I would have to upgrade him using more event collectibles to get him to his max overall. That's pretty much it, guys. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and tell me guys what you guys think about this event. I personally think it's a W. And uh, yeah, we pulled a kill McCarr. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.